your rinse Megan from Bookish Delights. And today's video is going to be quite a big unhaul. Um, it's been a while since I've filmed anything. I had a really nice break, a uh, couple months break. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be gone this long, but I just needed some time to figure out what I want to do with my life. And also because my job was consuming my whole life that I didn't really have the time to film but things are changing I'm no longer working where I was I'm working on some other projects so let's just get right into this some of these books could have very well been in another unhaul on my channel but I'm not quite sure um, and the reason why I still have them is because I unhauled them during the pandemic so things were closed down and I didn't get the chance to bring those books to either the library or thrift stores if there's any repeats from a previous video then that is why I have a whole box here so I'm not going to talk too much about the books that I'm unhauling uh, because there's quite a bit and I just want to get this video done so the first one is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I love these cover editions I've annotated this a little bit when I was in college because I had to read it in college and it's just my love for this series has been tainted and I just don't want this author on my shelf anymore so yes yeah, saying goodbye to this the next book i have is the summer i've turned pretty by jenny han i read this uh sometime last year i think it was or it could have been earlier this year and i it wasn't a favorite but like I didn't hate it it's just I didn't love it enough to be to keep it on my shelf and because it is a series I don't want the whole series taking up my shelf so um, I won't be buying any more of the books but like if I find the books through my library or on scribe then yeah like I will continue reading the series I just don't love it enough to keep it on my shelf then I have the girls by Laurie Lanson's. Um, it's a really nice cover. I'm not too big a fan of mass market paperbacks. I haven't read it. It's just it's been sitting on my shelf. I don't think I will ever read it. If I do feel like reading it then I can find it elsewhere. So the next book I have is The Time Traveler's Wife by um, Audrey I don't want to mispronounce Audrey's last name, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I am really bad at pronouncing names. This has been on my shelf for a very long time. It's a hefty book. I really enjoyed the movie when I seen it, but I don't, it's like, it's not a priority for me to read this book. So I'm going to unhaul it and if I ever do feel like reading it, I'm sure I can find it on Audible or Scribe or through my library. The next book I believe is one of the ones that I have unhauled, like I had in a video before and this is Die For You by Amy Fellner Domini. It was really good. I did enjoy it. I think I gave it like a three or three and a half stars. It is a good book and I did annotate it but it's not a favorite and I'm just trying to keep books on my shelves that are like a top favorite and that I would reread again and obviously like books that I want to read and this just falls slightly below wanting to keep it on my shelf so I want to pass it on and hopefully some other people will enjoy the book. I will remove the 
tabs and annotations because I do annotate my books with friction pens and friction highlighters so they are erasable. The next book I have Lost and Turned Over and it's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I've read it before, can't remember anything about it. I tried annotating it and it just wasn't working out for me and I don't know I just keep saying that I'm going to give it another try and reread it but I know I just I just never do and it it's kind of like it's become a chore basically that I that I need to read it so I'm going to let go of the book but I will attempt to read it again at some other point and I will like use like listen to it on audio or get it through my library but for now I'm gonna finally say goodbye to this book. So the next book I have is a Sarah Dessen book and this is Once and For All and this is a book that I recently hauled maybe or like at the end of last year or something. I did haul this book but I'm getting rid of it because I was giving a given a hard copy of this book and I really like hardcovers even though the dust jacket on that one I believe is ripped I just prefer hardcovers so uh, yeah, I'm gonna rehome this one I kind of forget I put this in my unhaul box this is Afterworld by Scott Westerfield but I think this is more of a maybe. It's like it still intrigues me to want to read it. I just haven't gotten around to reading it. This is not like a top priority. So maybe I will keep this one for another little while. And if I don't get around to reading it, uh, like I don't want to say in like a month, but by the end of this year, if I don't read it, then I will for sure get rid of it. So just let me know what your thoughts are on this book. This is At The World. I've heard some good things about it and I've been wanting to read it. I just, it's not a top priority, but I might keep that one for now. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, I have too many books. And then I also have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I'm not a big fan of this cover because it's like the, is this like a, was this a movie or a TV show or what, it's, it's the movie cover edition. I read it, enjoyed it, it was okay, it was decent, it was good, but not a favorite and it is like a pretty hefty book so I just don't want it on my shelf anymore. And then the next book I have is another hefty one and this is Anybody Out There by Marianne Keys. This was gifted to me by a friend. She no longer wanted it. She was cleaning off her shelves. So of course I was going to take the books. And at the time it did interest me. I can't remember what it's about. I think the main character, I don't know her name been dealing with some things in her life and just needs to refocus and I think she moves back to where her parents are like her hometown maybe to try and figure things out I'm really not sure but it doesn't interest me anymore and I know it, I'm not going to read it so um, I'm handling it and I have two series that I want to get rid of. I'm just putting the box down on the floor. I was trying to hold it. So the first one is the Wicket series. Can't remember what order these go in. This is by Nancy Holder and Debbie. I don't want to pronounce her last name because I'm going to mispronounce it. So, yep. This is Witch and Curse. So this is a bind up of, I believe, the first two. And like, I did do a try a chapter and I did kind of like it. I did find it like a little bit confusing of how they were doing the like time frames I think it switches time frames and, and like just 
the transitions between the two are a little bit confusing. And then we have Resurrection, and then this one is a bind up of Legacy and Spellbounce, and I believe that is the whole series. And it just takes up like a lot of space on my shelf because they are pretty big books. And the covers are really nice, but I just don't see myself reading these anytime soon. And if I ever want to, then I can find the ebook or the audiobook or get them through my library. And then the last three books is a trilogy, and this is the Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. So it's Me Before You, After You, and Still Me. I only read the first book and I really did enjoy it and I just don't feel the need to keep the books on my shelf because it's not a favorite series of mine and honestly I think we could have just done with the first book. I didn't read these ones but how this one ended like I think it could have just been like a good standalone. Those are all the books that I am currently unhauling. There could be more later on. I don't mind unhauling books after I read so many. Like it's really nice to do a bit of like cleaning up and just to refocus and figure out what you want to read once you know like what your reading tastes are. And so um, before I go I just want to talk a little bit about my upload schedule. I'm hoping to be able to do once a week again but it could be once every two weeks i'm not quite sure it all depends on how busy how busy i am because i am still doing things i do still have things going on so i some weeks are a little bit more busy than others so again hoping and aiming for every Friday or even every Monday. It just really depends on when I'm able to film and upload. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to receive any notifications for whenever I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, video suggestions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and um hope you like this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time